Hi, I'm here to talk about the Gariz Genuine Leather Camera Half Case. I ordered this from eBay and I noticed that uh, while I was ordering there were not too many reviews or details about it on the internet. Um, so I thought I'll just do an un unboxing and a review. So it comes in this uh, fairly smart but minimalistic uh, cardboard case. Uh, when you open it, this is what you see inside. Um, I ordered the lens, um, lens cap keeper as well, so this doesn't come by default with it. Uh, but I ordered it and, I, and they sent it in the same packaging to, to save on shipping costs. So we'll come to this in a bit. But first let me just take out the half leather camera case. It comes in a pouch which is made of this uh, sort of paper wrapping. And there it is. Just get rid of this. So that's what it looks like. Uh, it's pretty neat looking. It, it says it's made of genuine leather. Uh, black, smooth black with the logo here on the side which says um, uh, mirrorless camera project. Um, it's got uh, this nice shiny um, kind of steel panel or aluminium panel at the bottom. Um, this is one of the reasons why I got it is this uh, loop here which is used to screw in the base into the camera. Then uh, this is the, the tripod substitute hole. So this also works as a speaker hole because the speaker of the camera is uh, positioned under the lens in the center. But what this does is it actually makes the center of the camera um, come right above the tripod point, which is nice if you're shooting panorama. Uh, it also has a cutout uh, for accessing the battery cover and the um, SD card slot. So that's quite nice. Um, just to give you a view of the back, uh, or rather this is how the front looks like when it comes under the lens of the camera. Um, with the loop folded in. It sits absolutely flat when you put it down on the ground. Um, there's no bulge or there's there's uh, no nothing protruding. It's quite sleek and actually the finish is, is much better than I expected. It looks quite like a premium product. Um, so that's how the case looks like now. Um, let's get the camera into the picture. So that's my um, Fuji X20 camera which I'm um, kitting out with this and um, let's now try and put it onto the camera. So it goes onto the base like like that and where the existing tripod hole is that's where this goes and you just kind of tighten it in and it has this neat little um, clock kind of symbol at the bottom which says uh, locking time so basically you have to twist it so that that is clearly visible and you can just push it back and there you have it it's mounted on the camera now there were some reviews on the internet which said that it sticks out from the top and my preliminary thoughts are that it doesn't really stick out that much. It, it kind of follows the form factor of the camera quite neatly. Um, yeah, so it's quite neat looking. I think it protects the camera, the lower part of the camera and what most importantly what it does is it adds a bit of um, height to the camera as well and I think that's a good thing. Some people might not like it but I think that's a good thing um, for my hands because now it allows me to grip the camera with all four fingers um, having a place to hold on to. So that's nice because earlier my little finger would be hanging in the air when I was holding the camera just like this but now with this here it's it's gives me a good solid grip across the whole body of the camera so the added height is quite welcome actually. Okay so that's what the case looks like on the camera um, easy to hold and use when your fingers here um, it's, it's got a nice uh, quality leather feel to it. As you can see, it's, it, it, it grips the camera nicely. There you go. It sits absolutely flat. Yeah, so that's, that's what it looks like. Um, one very interesting feature is the, the cutout at the bottom. So this cutout actually makes it very easy for you to, to change SD cards or the battery um, midway through your shoot. So you can just shake, you'll have to shake the battery a bit to take it out. But there, it does come out. Um, and there it goes back in. And same way the SD card, you can just put it out like that. And then it goes back in. So. Um, this is really a nice feature to be able to, to access the battery compartment and, and the SD card um, without having to remove the, the base. Um, 
Okay, so that's what it looks like. Um, let me just show you how the this, the screw thing, and this is quite interesting. I tried to use it with my Black Rapid connector, and um, let me show it to you from the side. It just doesn't go in beyond beyond one one thread of the screw. Um, it just stops. You can see. Let me just hold it up there. You can see it's just. I've tried many angles. It just doesn't go beyond that. Um, but strangely enough, with the Manfrotto, this is the Manfrotto. Um, uh, base plate for the tripod it works smooth as silk so it goes in all the way and uh, there's no problem at all with the connection or the threads it goes in really tight and there you go so on the Manfrotto base plate it's absolutely fine there's no problem at all um, so I tried the Joby base plate because I have a Joby Gorilla pod as well and uh, let's see how that works out so this one needs a bit of a coin turn and yeah, well, kind of strange. This also tightens up after one turn. It doesn't really go beyond one turn. It does actually, but um, I'm not, I'm a bit scared to push it all the way because I don't want, it's quite a good fit actually, but I know it's not, not fully tight. And I don't want to do that. So uh, maybe it would work with the Joby, but uh, definitely with the Manfrotto, it's no problem. So that's kind of strange. With regard to the screws, let's see the Manfrotto once again. And yep, same thing, no problem at all, it goes all the way in. And here's the Black Rapid. Nope, just stops it at the first turn. You, you can't go beyond the first thread. So I'm not going to risk this with the, with the Black Rapid connector anymore. Um, but what it does do is because it has that uh, loop for the gunshot strap. Uh, rather than getting the gunshot strap here, I have my Black Rapid uh, connector. And what I need to do is maybe just flip out this, this loop over here. And I could just put this in at the base. Let's see. If... Yeah, there you go. So if you put it in at the base and tighten the Black Rapid connector, there you go. So this does work in a manner, I suppose. It could it could do for being being a second camera carrier or to link onto the Black Rabbit. I know that this is going to scratch this over time. It's not going to look, be looking like this after one one day in the field. Uh, but you know, you don't really bother about the looks of the base um, of this camera. I think it's it's meant for protection, and that's what it's going to do. And I'm just hoping that this this loop is sturdy enough. Um, it feels sturdy enough, it's, it's got a metal base. So I'm, I'm just hoping that this is sturdy enough to use um, with, the, with the Black Rapid connector. Um, so there you go, that's my uh, quick review, uh, unboxing and review actually of the, of the Gariz half leather camera case. Uh, I think it's quite good value for money. Uh, it, is, it is not cheap, it is, it is about um, I think $80 on eBay. Um, but uh, I think it serves its purpose and it definitely is finished much better than I expected it. Um, it, it looks neat, it, it gives you access to the battery compartment, it has this, this additional loop at the bottom and the, and the tripod thread gets mounted in the center so uh, it makes it easier for taking panorama shots if, if you want to use this for tripod panoramas. Okay, so there it is. Thank you very much.